Eat three things every day. Right now, as you see society is getting more and more affluent, they start eating worse and worse food. What rural person in India would not touch very sophisticated cities are eating that kind of food when I say that kind of food, almost anything that western societies are using today or a minimum 30 to 60 days old in yoga, their food is classified as sattvarajas. And Thomas. Thomas means inertia if you eat anything which has Thomas, inertia will come in your system. Inertia does not mean you just become lazy. Inertia means certain things slow down. Certain things means essentially regeneration of the system slows down today. You know that neural neuronal regeneration is one of the most important aspect of Crete, keeping your brain reasonably functionable. Functional throughout your life. If you are consuming foods which are common sick or causes inertia in the general function of your system, in the energetic, process of who you are. Then you will see cognition level slowly will go down or a period of time because everybody understands this. This is why they're drinking cups and cups of Coca-Cola or coffee or alcohol or something else, because they know they need to balance that. So this kind of balance is a very rudimentary way of balancing your system that you putting wrong things, and then you trying to correct it with right things. The highest number of antacids in the world, nearly 60% of the world's antacids are sold in America. The most affluent population on the planet, this means they have a whole choice of nourishment. They can eat the best food, but no, they will eat the worst food. Because commercial forces will decide what you eat. You cannot eat consciously anymore. What you want to eat? Just I'm saying if everything becomes fresh food in the yogic culture, if you cook something the maximum time in which you can eat, it is one and a half hours 90 minutes before that you should have eaten the food after that, we won't touch the food because it is started gathering Thomas, inertia, will begin to happen. If you want to experiment, you can experiment, use something to eat, something very fresh for one week. Eat something which is processed and kept for one month, two months, and then eat it. You will see the level of alertness in the system, you will notice it in your experience but it is happening at the cellular level. It is happening. In terms of we call this urges. There is no English word for that. If you create sufficient which has, which is a non-physical dimension of energy, if every cell in your body is wrapped in this, believe me, your aging process is almost will not progress. Your cellular age will almost remain sag stagnant for a long period of time. Some of the tests they have done on me, and they are saying that, I am, my cellular age is 25. Well, I still have like, 25 or maintaining the same level of activity. I maintaining the same weight, same everything. This is not some miracle. Every human being is capable of this, with, some simple attention to fundamental things going. Further in terms of food, there is something called as we root are. That means if you eat one thing and put another thing, which works opposite to that, then in your system, there is a war you know, digestive process is largely between acids and all claims and all this stuff. For example, you eat meat, which is fatty. If you eat it by itself, it may not cause that much damage, but you ate that with rice, you call that biryani and you ate it. Now the damage is big because these two things will not go together. 
This is why any any non-vegetarian food and milk and milk related food were never mixed because the moment you mix it, it will go opposite to each other and you create a battle within yourself in the yogic culture food should or should not remain in your stomach bag for more than two and a half hours, within two and a half hours, you should have moved out, you must be feeling empty, stomach, hunger will not come empty, stomach will come and that is good. We want our stomach to be always empty because in an empty stomach, everything works well, and the colon health is something that's completely you neglected. Today, if you do not keep your colon clean, keeping your mind in a balanced state is very, very difficult. So in Ayurveda and Siddha, first thing, if you say anything, you are having sleepless nights, you are having disturbed, something. Mild any kind of psychological problems. First thing is, purging purge, the system clean the colon suddenly, you feel little balanced, so, in the yoga center, the day starts with a small marble-sized ball of neem and turmeric. There are many aspects to this. Of what impact it has on your system. One immediate thing it will do is it will keep your alimentary, tract. Clean. When we say clean, this is a region. This whole digestive process is a region where you have maximum amount of other life. So within this elementary track, there are a whole host of microorganisms. Many of them have to unfriendly to us. We are living because of them, we are able to digest food because of the many many functions in the body happen, cause of that. But still there are many who are harmful to us, the uniqueness of name especially when it is taken along with turmeric. If these two things go together, largely those things which are not necessary for the body. Those things can that which can harm the body, any kind of parasite, a life, which is there. All these things get eliminated. We have created lots of family-friendly quotes for everyone. If you liked these Sadhguru quotes please subscribe our channel. Do you find Sadhguru's life inspiring? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.